Here's a performance demonstration of this Seaberg 1000 background music compact with the background music transistor preamplifier that provides an RCA output to a little utility speaker here. Right now there's a number of records stacked on the unit. Those come off except for the top bottom one which is already in the loop. And we can press this to get that to deploy down to the bottom level. And if we turn on the machine, it'll start playing that bottom record. That's a Christmas record at the moment. We go to the end of the recording. And it will reject that record. And sensing that there's no records on top, it'll start to lift up the elevator that brings the stack back up to the top. Now as it lifts, I'll take that opportunity to add some more records to the stack. And the drop weight. And as the bottom platter falls, the stylus will go for the underside of the first record. And we'll reject records here. see that it plays both sides. A lot of these records on this particular stack skip because these are the records I use to align the units. Now it's playing the top side of that record. It's probably a Christmas record. We can reject that record. And once it makes a complete revolution, it'll drop it and play the underside of the next record in the stack. that record or bring the tone arm to the end of the band which is what I'll do here this has got a clean set of styli on it that show no wear under the inspection of a microscope and is it finds that eccentric groove, it'll turn back, record drops and it plays the top side of the record. And we can turn the player off doesn't respond immediately because it takes a full revolution to sense the off solenoid. And there it's in the off position, drops the last record. And we should be able to sequence the remaining records through here. And we're down to the last one and we'll turn it on again. Need to lock down those brushes. So it's playing the last record in the stack now and we'll reject that one. And it'll 
lift up and drop it and play the top side of it. And once that's established, we'll reject that one and the next sequence will be another platter lift. This is just a random collection of records, a mix of old scratchy records I use to align the machines. And we'll do this final reject. And the last record will drop, and it'll sense that there's no more records on the stack, and it'll start lifting up. And this will just show that it's got the uh, lift power to lift a stack of some 15-odd records plus the platter weight. It'll do a whole lot more than that. I think it'll hold a 25 record stack. Of course, it always says use only with a full stack of records. So the platter drops and it'll play the underside of the first record in the stack. Stylus pressure has been set to 3 grams on each side. The transistor amplifier has been tested thoroughly and burned in. As you can see it's got a bass boost and a tone control and an output level. nice about having the uh, pre-amplifier is the ability to control the tone and also uh, have a nice impedance match to the redhead cartridge. And we'll turn it off again. Usually drops the last, if it's uh, playing the other side, it may drop that record. I don't recall. We'll turn it back on and see what happens. Yeah, it'll drop that record and play the up the top side. And we can move the tone arm to the end of the band. Should try to always do very carefully. And once it senses the eccentric groove on the inside of that record, it'll pick up. Get the next ready position, the next record in position. And it'll do that all day long. That's the Seaberg 1000 Background Music Compact. <laughs>